In Berlin, things are changing rapidly. German lawmakers have committed to increasing defense expenditure by over 2% of GDP after years of neglect and underfunding, along with a plan to deposit at least 100 billion euros into a special fund for the Bundeswehr. This sum of money is significant and is in addition to the regular defense budget of 50 billion euros. In this video, we will be talking about Germany getting a 100 billion euro military upgrade. But before that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more amazing content. Let's start the video now without further delay. Unveiling the Strategy In reaction to the conflict in Ukraine, Chancellor Olaf Scholz unveiled a strategy in February. Three months later, the administration and the main opposition party united to craft a plan to modify the constitution and raise and spend the necessary funds. According to German politicians, massive military acquisitions will be made to increase the nation's battle readiness. New fighter jets, aerial drones, armored cars, submarines, tanks, etc. are being delivered to Germany. But will it be sufficient to make up for years of underfunding? That might not even matter though. Some goals are so admirable that failure is honorable. It was one of the largest in Europe when it had half a million employees in the early 1920s but it is now only a shell of what it once was. Between 1990 and 2019, the number of people declined more dramatically than in other countries by 60%. Defense spending decreased by 34% over the same period when adjusted for inflation. Military hardware was either stored, sold abroad or disassembled for scrap during this time. German battle tanks decreased from around 6,700 to 245 in 30 years. While the number of combat planes and helicopters decreased from an estimated 1,300 to 345. Nevertheless, despite the dropping numbers, Germany's international obligations have increased significantly as a result of deployments to Afghanistan and the Balkans. German resources were thereby further dispersed. Short on Supplies Due to years of austerity, the Bundeswehr is short on supplies of both money and equipment. So much so that Germany is now regarded as a free rider and a non-contributing member of NATO. However, the conflict in Ukraine has persuaded German politicians to restructure the armed forces. When Defense Minister Christine Lambrecht stated that there was not a single combat-ready division, a force of between 100 and 150 soldiers to protect German territory, that was the turning point. Barely 9 of the Army's 51 Tiger attack helicopters can fly and only 150 of the 350 Puma infantry fighting vehicles are really in use. Fewer than 30% of Germany's military vessels are seaworthy, and many of its fighter jets are unsafe for flight. According to a parliamentary report on the military from 2021, 50% operational readiness was achieved by 11 out of 71 key weapon systems. A significant portion of German weapons is merely inoperable. Even the most basic tools are lacking. While some German battalions lack ammunition and combat-ready gear, others have analog radio systems that are not encrypted. That is what decades of disregard can do to an army. With this 100 billion euro overhaul, Scholz hopes to put things right. Germany's defense budget has increased significantly since the 1990s, and lawmakers in Berlin have pledged to use the special fund to turn the Bundeswehr into a potent modern force. But even for a wealthy country like Germany, 100 billion euro is a substantial sum of money. So how will the funds be used exactly? Defense Priorities What are the defense priorities of Germany? As of right now, the special fund does not have an established spending plan. The specifics can be filled in based on the Germans' lengthy wish list, which they have had for almost a decade but haven't been able to buy. In light of this, the Air Force will get the majority of the special fund, a total of 41 billion euros of which. Berlin government officials have long desired to replace their deteriorating helicopter and jet fighter fleets. For example, some of the equipment in its heavy lift helicopters has been in operation for more than 50 years and is prone to failure. It would be wise to replace those at this time. The German Air Force plans to purchase 15 euro fighter Typhoon jets, 60 Boeing Chennai CH-47 helicopters, and 35 Lockheed Martin F-35 jet fighters. These acquisitions will probably be made keeping in mind the most recent upgrades. 
A sizable sum of money will also be used to research and build new weaponry, such as the Combat Cloud System and the Twister System, which are intended to increase defenses against supersonic weapons and cybersecurity respectively. Multilateral defense initiatives will also receive an undetermined sum of money. The Future Combat Air Systems Program, which aims to create a sixth-generation fighter jet that will replace France's Raffles, Germany's Typhoons, and Spain's F-18 Hornets by 2040, is at the top of the list. In addition, there are plans to work with Norway, the Netherlands, and Britain to create new artillery and ammunition systems. The Netherlands and Britain to create new artillery and ammunition systems, new landing platforms, and new submarine technologies. Officials in Germany plan to invest 19 billion euros in the Navy. Plans to Purchase There are plans to purchase new corvettes, frigates, and Type 202 submarines. But warships can be very expensive, particularly with German defense contractors. Although the allocated amount sounds considerable, the Navy can only use so much of it. The ground forces will receive close to 17 billion euros in the meanwhile. With battle vehicles, Fuchs armored personnel carriers and martyr infantry, a significant percentage of it will bolster the army's assets. A replacement for the Leopard 2 battle tank, which is intended to be developed, by, which is intended to be developed in collaboration with France, is also being considered by German officials. Heavy weapons like tanks will undoubtedly be a major focus for Berlin, but they won't be the only ones. The remaining 23 billion of the special money would be used to strengthen cyber warfare capabilities across all military services and restock munitions depots. Consider items like night vision goggles, contemporary radio gear, a rucksack, a uniform, etc. The allocated cash will assist in addressing Bundeswehr's significant supply shortages, which are present in all areas. If everything goes according to plan, German officials intend to increase the number of military personnel by 200 to 200 300 zero. Generally speaking, these are the needs and wants that Germany aspires to fulfill but hasn't been able to fund. With a special fund already established, it can now make it happen. But there is some debate about Germany's military modernization. Even while 100 billion euros seems big, it might not be enough for Germany to make up for years of insufficient spending. Scholl's defense strategy merely represents a down payment. According to a Munich-based economic research company, Germany needs to invest an additional 25 billion euros a year to fulfill its long-term NATO quota. Then things start to become interesting. Along with the one-time special fund of 100 billion euros, Scholz also pledged that defense spending will exceed 2% of the GDP, the NATO required minimum. Long-term military requirements Germany's long-term military requirements will eventually be met if the Scholz administration and succeeding coalition administrations maintain their 2% defense budget level. However, there is a strong pacifist undercurrent in Germany. Because of its past atrocities, many people have doubts about the army's capability and duty. Therefore, the success of Scholz's approach depends on political compromise and public support. The 2% defense budget will need to be renegotiated with new parameters and new parties if the coalition government falls apart. However, for the time being, the populace is accepting of Scholz's military upgrading. According to a Der Spiegel study, 78% of Germans are in favor of giving the military greater funding. It's unclear yet if this mood will endure. However, money won't be able to solve every problem. Germany has a broken, painfully delayed procurement system in addition to a lack of political commitment. Years are required to order new equipment, including ships and tanks, as well as more basic supplies like body armor, radios, and clothing. German ground forces received new battle helmets over the course of around 10 years. German law allows the unsuccessful bidder on a defense contract to appeal the decision, which is one of the causes. That frequently delays delivery by years. Furthermore, German business people seem to like suing one another. An order for 1,200 assault rifles made by Heckler & Koch, for instance, was contested in court and is still pending. The German military budget is renegotiated every fiscal year. Money that has not been spent by the end of the year is essentially withdrawn. As a result, when a legal dispute drags on for years, the allocated funds, the allocated funds are essentially lost. Legal disputes cause delays, but they can also lead to underfunding. 
Because of how the bureaucracy is set up, it is simpler for Germans to provide weapons to a client on the other side of the globe than it is to provide for the Bundeswehr. As a result, even though Berlin wants new ships, helicopters and tanks, helicopters and tanks, more political, legal and bureaucratic reform is required to speed up the procurement process. Even then, political will must be kept strong to sustain the 2% cap on defense spending. Although the 100 billion euro military upgrade is a great first step, it is only that. The primary responsibility of the state is national defense. But having a strong defense necessitates dedication across the board. Conflict may not be of interest to Germany, but Germany may be of interest to conflict. Additional debt will be used to pay for the exceptional fund. For that, it was necessary to get over the Constitution's debt break rule, which limits governmental borrowing. To secure the two-thirds majority in Parliament required to pass the constitutional reform, the government therefore needed the backing of the conservative opposition. Germany has drastically scaled back its military since the end of the Cold War, going from having over 500,000 soldiers in 1990 to only 200,000 now. An assessment of the state of the military in December said that less than 30% of German naval ships were fully operational. Many of the nation's fighter planes are unsuited for flight. That's it guys, Germany should be able to use the fund to reach the NATO goal of allocating 2% of its annual economic output to defense, making it the third largest military spender in the world behind the United States and China. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Leave a like, share with your friends and families, and jot down your thoughts in the comments section below.